Oh, my frame rate's so bad, I'm crashing everywhere. Okay, today we're looking at this A Fox GTX 1660 Ti 6GB DDR6 GeForce graphics card. The box of this A Fox card is pretty generic box. They tend to use the same box or a few similar boxes for all the graphics card range, and they just basically change the sticker on the front here. It tells you all the basics you need to know. It's Graphics by NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce, Pure Video HD, and HD Video, and Energy Efficient, and so forth. But there's nothing, obviously, to set at any difference than any other graphics card. The artwork's nice, but again, it's uh, similar artwork on most of their graphics cards. On the side, it tells you all the resolutions and the refresh rates it will work at. So that's good. Again, I'm not sure if this is pretty much the same on all the graphics cards and so forth that they do, or if this is specifically for this one. On the other side, it tells you about the system requirements. Again, it looks pretty generic, to be honest. Operating systems, XP and above. Uh, and then you've got your 600 watt power supply, motherboard with PCI Express, uh, two gigabytes of system memory, and installation software requires CD-ROM drive it doesn't actually because you can actually download installation and drivers for NVIDIA graphics cards directly off the internet on the back of the box it's pretty generic again it tells you about uh, supports PCI Express 2 slash 3 and so forth there's nothing really new or uh, different on here than you would probably find on most GeForce boxes Okay, so inside the box you've got four items. You've got the graphics card itself, you've got the manual, you've got the driver CD, and you've also got a two-socket Molex to one eight-pin PCI Express connection for powering the graphics card. The quick installation guide is pretty basic, to be honest. It looks like the generic installation guide you would get with most graphics cards and they'll probably use this for probably near enough every graphics card they sell it's got your basic information about how to switch your machine off and how to plug it in and so forth it's not made specifically for this graphics card you've got your driver disk which has got obviously the drivers on in all honesty you don't want to be using the disk to install nvidia graphics card drivers you want to download the latest version from the nvidia website um, because you usually find the well out of date on the discs usually by several generations uh, and you'll get better performance with the latest ones and they'll work better with the game just go to nvidia.com this cable here is basically a splitter cable or combiner cable is probably the better way of putting it but basically you connect two molex connections from your power supply into there and then it will end up with this 8 pin PCI Express power connector which you plug into the graphics card down here the catches with these is if this was supposed to take two lots of molex, connect, molex connections it would have two lots of molex connections on the top to plug it into adapting anything power wise to work something like this i don't advise it personally and i wish my manufacturers of graphics cards didn't because we see it no end of times when people buy graphics cards like this they haven't got the correct power supply they use these adapters and then suddenly they're getting blue screens of deaths in games, usually when the power consumption ramps up when they're doing a lot of work, and the machine cuts out, and that's it. Uh, and then it does the same thing over and over again, and they end up having to replace the power supply anyway. So as you can see here, we've got the card itself. It has got two fans, which is pretty much the standard design as you get on most of these 1660 Ti's you do get some who have only got one which are usually the smaller form factor ones and then you do get some higher performance ones which have got three fans this specific card is branded by AFOX stickers on the fans but other than that there doesn't seem to be any other AFOX branding on the card on the top side of the card you've got where you plug in your 6 pin power connector and you can see some of the heat sinks here 
but otherwise there's not much to see and personally I would have liked some form of a Fox logo or possibly some maybe even some lighting or something along this edge because this is the bit what most people are going to see it's all right putting stickers on the graphics card fans okay but when you've got them in your case unless you've got uh, the option of mounting your graphics card vertically instead of horizontally then you're not going to see those stickers on the fans and when the fans are spinning anyway you're still not going to see the logo on the stickers so ideally I would like to see them put some branding across here be proud of your brand show it off stick put a sticker on there or some sort of metal design or something with your name on there it doesn't have to be anything elaborate or anything like that something basic would look better on the back of the card you've got a heat sink on the back so that's nice so it's not direct um, PCB board on the back so that's um, quite good it does tell you the model number on here uh, as well but otherwise it's pretty straightforward on this end is where obviously you connect your monitors and everything like that you've got a DVI connection one HDMI connection and one display port so obviously if you're wanting dual displays which obviously this does support you will need to make sure they're using different display connections you've also got your vents here this is where the air will basically get pushed out the back and on the other end you can see where the PCB board ends and the heat sink just comes out a little bit further and you can see the heat pipes there what are going through the actual heat sink and then you've got the molding what goes on top what the fans are mounted to okay we decided to run this card on what would class as more of a middle-end machine rather than a high-end machine because if you're buying a middle-end graphics card you're not generally going to be um, running it on a top-of-the-line i9 processor um, so the machine we're running it on is a i5-9600K running on a Gigabyte Aorus B30 motherboard along with 16 gigs of memory. We're also running a thermal tape water cooler. It's also in a thermal tape level 20 GT case and thermal tape power supply. In the charts above you'll see different coloured lines. Basis is green stands for NVIDIA, red for stands for AMD. The blue line is obviously the card we're testing now, and the purple is that card overclocked. When we say overclocked, we overclocked it by 120 megahertz for the core and 1100 megahertz for the memory, which is quite impressive, really, because you could spend another 70, 80, or even 100 pounds more and get an overclocked version of this card, and it probably wouldn't perform as well. So, for very little money, you can overclock this. Well, for free, you can overclock this card uh, using something like the MSI Afterburner program, which is very easy to overclock with. But bear in mind, when you're overclocking, you may void warranties. So overall I'm very happy with this card, it's performed extremely well, basically it's a low cost version of the 1660 Ti, um, it doesn't lose any performance or anything like, like that and it still keeps nice and cool, it doesn't come with any of the junk what a lot of the graphics cards come with, no stickers, no special pouches or anything like that, you basically just get the card, the manual, a power adapter which I don't advise you use, use a proper power supply uh, and that's pretty much it. The current recommended retail price for this is around about $259.99, which is pretty good value. Um, you'll struggle to find a graphics card what's really cheaper than it, and again, bear in mind, prices change on a daily basis, so you'll probably find it even cheaper out there. So overall, I highly recommend this product. I'm very pleased with the no-nonsense, no-frills, Basically, you just get what you need um, from a fox.